Today's scripture is from the Old Testament, book of Isaiah, chapter 44, verse 21 to 23. These are the words of God. Remember these things, O Jacob, for you are my servant. O Israel, I have made you. You are my servant. O Israel, I will not forget you. I have swept away your offenses like a cloud, your sins like the morning mist. Return to me, for I have redeemed you. Sing for joy, O heavens, for the Lord has done this. Shout aloud, O earth beneath. Burst into song, you mountains, you forests, and all your trees. For the Lord has redeemed Jacob. He displays his glory in Israel. There is a person named Hadokyu who is now a Baptist pastor and a professor at Pekso Art University. I think many of you probably recognize his name. He is also a singer, a musician who was active in the 1980s along with Ham Chun Ho as a folk group, Xin Gua Chun Zhang, which in translation means poet and the village chief. He gained a lot of popularity for his lyrics and melodies that moved people's hearts. One of the songs he released in his second album of the group in 1986 was called Scenery. The lyrics are like this. The most beautiful scenery in the world the scenery where everything goes back to its original place. The most beautiful scenery in the world. The scenery where everything goes back to its original place. In fact, it is very short, but more you, the more you think about them, the more it goes to the heart. What is the most beautiful scenery in the world? It is a scenery where everything goes back to its original place. The message is summed up to that everything is beautiful when it is in its rightful place. This is a song that I came to my mind while thinking about our vision for this church, about how to make our church a beautiful church. How to be beautiful. Within the, the vocabulary scenery, we can find beauty in that word. The other day while I was preaching on beauty, I once said a story about a rice grain. That rice grain is beautiful when it is within a rice bowl, but it is not beautiful when the rice grain is attached to one's hair. It is said that when everything, everyone is in its right place, it is beautiful and can illuminate beautifully. I said that it is beautiful when a pastor is in the position of a pastor, when an elder maintains his position as an elder, and when a deaconess fulfills her duties within the church as a deaconess, when a wife maintains her position as a wife, a husband as a husband, a family will become a beautiful family, a soldier as a soldier, a scholar as a scholar, and when everyone keeps their rightful position in place, a beautiful family, beautiful society, a beautiful country, and a beautiful church is formed. It is okay if you feel you haven't heard this story before, or the sermon before, or if you've forgotten it. It is okay. It is the place of a believer, a member of this congregation, so please do not be heartbroken. The place, Tejari in Korean has two meanings. One may think place, its place is that when you are not progressing further and you are not away, always there in the same place. But the other meaning can be understood as where it should be, the rightful place. It can be said that it is a place where I have find 
I have to find a place where I should be. The parts I talked about in the last sermons were very much practical and had many aspects to be applied to our everyday lives. The message carried along application aspects of finding my place in our lives and in the life of the church and faithfully fulfilling our responsibilities there. However, the song scenery we saw earlier actually tells us more than that. It seems to speak of a more essential and deeper aspect of human destiny. And it seems to be conveying its message with great realization. What is the most beautiful scenery in the world? It is a scenery where everything returns to its place. Go back to your place. It is beautiful and it will make you happy in the end. The most beautiful scenery in the world is where everything is back in its rightful place. The message is like giving us the secret and the answer to living a beautiful life. That is what we feel from this, this, its lyrics and this song. However, later Pastor Ha said that this song was actually written before he met God. In fact, it was more of a question than an answer. He said he was singing this song while he was looking for something and he felt lost. The most beautiful scenery in the world is where everything goes back to its proper place. He was singing these words, but he said he was looking for something. Where is my place? He found himself asking for his place in the world. He seemed to have found the principles of the world, but he was still singing about his unresolved problems. He had gained wisdom, as it may seem. It seems he had the insight that everything is most beautiful when it finds its proper place, but he was always questioning, where is my right place? Where is the rightful place that I should be? He was asking this question continuously in his heart. In fact, he appears to have been in a deep anguish and wondering at that time. Debuting as the popular musician group in 1981, he was making his name as a leader in folk music, gaining great popularity as a famous and popular musician, but he was living in search of alcohol and marijuana to overcome the emptiness and this depression found in it. The song sings about the most beautiful scenery and where it should go back to and the and the such wisdom, but he was in fact walking down the road of wondering, unable to found, find a place where he should be, a place for himself. During this period of wonder, wonder, next, wonder, run, wondering, he took inspiration from the poem Han Geryong, written by poet Jung Dok Su, and made a song by quoting a part of it. The song was released by Yang Hee-in in 1985, and the title of the song is Han Geryong. It, said, it goes, the mountain tells me, don't cry, don't cry. Wet valley beneath your feet, the mountains, that mountain tells me to forget it, forget it. I sweep my chest, ah, but I shall live and go as drifting wind, like the drifting wind that drives from mountain to another, carrying the clouds of tears. The mountain tells me to go down, go down. Why did he suddenly sing of the song? Hang Geryong, based on this po poem, former media arbitrator Han Ki Bong, who worked as a reporter from, for the Hanguk Ilbo, evaluates Han Dok Yu's music as follows. After a clash between reality and ideals, alcohol and marijuana, and wondering which 
no place to turn to, Hadokyu, a young man in his twenties, who climbed to the limit near his hometown with the intention of falling and dying, gets inspiration instead of death in the mountains. The mountains did not accept him. The mountain pushed him to forget. Do not cry, pushed his weary back down. Hadokyu, who climbed the mountains while wandering about without his rightful place, climbed the mountain to end his wandering, but the mountain pushed him to return and go down without crying. The Han Geryong was not the right place for he was looking for. Han Geryong did not accept him because it was not his place. So while he was still wandering, he was led by his older sister and attended the year-end service on December 31st. From the moment he entered the chapel full of candles, his eyes were already filled with tears. On that day, in that place, he, heard, he hears God speaking to his heart. His, God's voice spoke to him like this. This is the place you have been looking for. This place is your place. The, it is the place to which all men should return. Finally, in this place, he confesses that he has found his place that he has been singing about, that he sang for years and years, yearning for where my place is, the very place he longed for, his own place. After meeting, meeting God, he swiftly writes down the lyrics of another song. This lyrics that it was written in 10 minutes became an immoral masterpiece. This song was called A Thorn Bush. The lyrics goes like this. I have too many within me. There is no place for you to rest. With vain wishes in me, there is no comfort for you. The darkness inside of me that I can't control, it takes your place to rest. Sadness that I cannot overcome is inside of me, like a lush thorn forest. When the wind blows that dry branch hugging each other and crying, even the young birds, tired of, from looking for a place to rest, are pierced by thorns and they fly away. When the wind blows, the lonely and painful, where were, there were many days when I sang about sad songs. I have so many inside of me, there is no place for you to rest. These, ri these lyrics that I'm saying about, it seems to repent of the past he was, that Pastor Ha was not in the right place. As a popular song, you may have mul this, you may understand as mul multiple meetings, but person Pastor Ha is trying to say the absolute person here, God. There is a sadness in me that I cannot overcome. There is a desire within me that I cannot overcome. It is full of endless sorrow with dry desires like thorns which collide each other. Looking back on his own life where he had not been able to make a place for God to come in, this is a song about repenting for not being where he should have been. Afterwards, he often sings the song scenery by adding another sentence at the end of it, every song he sings. The most beautiful scenery in the world, a scenery back to my father. Recently, Pastor Ha was invited to this chapel and I asked him to sing us this song. Then he says something amazing. In fact, after I was converted, I used to come to Somang Church several times to pray and cry in the back seat. This chapel was my returned home to my father. 
being able to sing this song in this chapel, it has so many meaningful ways the God moves in his ways. Today's my sermon is programmed in a little bit different ways than usual, so I invite I like to invite you to listen all together for scenery by Pastor Ha. I ask you to listen to the words.
Dearly beloved, where are you now? Where is the place that you carry all your passion, greed, needs, wounds, sadness? Where do you have it? Is it because of that you're not at your rightful place? There are so many in me that there is no place to rest for you. I don't have room to accept you. It's the place that you are pushing the Lord away where you are. Or are you at the top of Hangedong? in the place where you climb to the cliff in search to end your wandering. Augustine says this in his Confessions. We have no peace until our hearts rest in you. Until our hearts rest in you, says the Lord. Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Matthew chapter 11, verse 28. Only when we come to the Lord do we have true rest and peace. We do. The Lord speaks through the prophet Isaiah. Remember these things, O Jacob, for you are my servant. O Israel, I have made you. You are my servant. O oh Israel, I will not forget you. I have swept away your offenses like a cloud, your sins like the morning mist. Return to me, for I have redeemed you. Remember this. Never forget this. The fact that I have made you, built you. The fact that I do not forget you. I forgave your transgressions and sins, and I am waiting for you. Remember this. Remember that I have, I am waiting for you. Like clouds, your sins like the morning mist. I have gotten rid of that. Return to me. Return to your place. To all believers who are here now and those who are attending by, via internet, I would like to say to the members of this, con this congregation, I would like to ask you to return to your place. If you are in an empty place, if you are full of, in a place full of desires, so far away from the Lord, I would like to re listen to God's voice as he invites you back to this place. Return to me, return to your place. The story of the younger son who took his father's property and left home, he squanders and everything and returned to and decides to return to his father. It, it is a reckless return. The son now wants to be taken back to his father's house, even as a hired servant. I will return as the lowest place, and he goes back to his father. In the book of Luke, it says, So he got up and went to his father. This is what is great about this son. He did not stay wandered in his sadness. He got up and turned to his father and returned to his father. Then what happens? Rest of the chapter Luke says, But while he was still a long way off, his father saw him and was filled with compassion for him. He ran to his son, threw his arms around him, and kissed him. The father went outside to the edge of town and was always waiting for his son. Every day. So when the son returned, he ran out to him. He is 
it, this is the love of the Father. My beloved congregations, return to the Father. The lyrics of Him 527 includes, O come, O come, don't delay, only come back home today. Can our sins, however great, however stark and gra grave, prove more than Jesus can carry, who come, who came to seek and save? Brother, far is Jesus, and full breast, then is heaven from east to west. Come back to your place. Come back to me. Return back to your place. How, how can we respond to this de desperate call from the Lord? Let us pray. God of abundant love, the Lord who calls us today, we give thanks and praise to the Lord for sending His only Son, Jesus Christ, to this earth to atone our sins. We want to go to the Lord by answering yes to Lord's invitation, saying, I have removed your transgressions like a dense cloud and your sins like a mist. Return to me. We want to pro provide a place for the Lord to dwell in our hearts like a place filled with storms. The beautiful scenery of returning to the Lord, the beautiful scenery of everything returning to its original place. May it be revealed and illuminate in ourselves. I pray this in the name of Jesus. Amen. <laughs>